Welcome YouTubers, Dr. Anger Banana here with Gaming with Banana. We are back on our installment of Cards and Castles where we are using our Awakened deck and we are doing some battles, still testing it out, trying to move up the ladder. I appreciate those tuning in. If you uh, like the gameplay videos, would you please give it a subscribe and a like? I appreciate that very much. Let's see. You know, let's start with these. We haven't used uh, Primordial Flame in the last couple of battles. So in our Awaken deck, for those who are new to this, um, Awaken, it has an ability right after it, and it's normally on the it's on the following turn that that normally pops up, and that's when we use it. Let's see here. So when you go second, you get the Medal of Bravery. You get a gain of gold for the turn. I am going to start with the Primordial Flame, which has Inferno 6, which means uh, at the end of the turn, uh, it ends up doing 6 damage to everything around it. It's a 3x3 three three square. We gave him Awaken, um, plus three, plus three, so next turn he will be at three, seven if he doesn't get killed. Oh, I should have known better. Crap. Alright. Man, that was too good to be true, right? So, Masuta is alive still. Sweet. Uh, let's see. as well. I notice he's got blue and red, so he's got like a burn deck, and lightning is in the blue, which, you know, chain lightning, if all my things are touching, he can hit one, and it would hit all of my different creatures. How exciting. Ah, oh, well, we tried. I hit my castle again. Alright. Let's see what we got then. Next card. <sighs> I kind of want that one. But. We're going to go with Bob. see what he's got up his sleeve. So Ronan gets a plus two on his attack when he awakens, and he's got first strike, so if somebody hits him, he ends up hitting first. Let's 
just go ahead and take them out of that. Put our Dojo of Awakening out. We'll go ahead and hit his castle. So the Dojo of Awakening gives plus one, plus one to a unit when they awaken. Which, yeah, you can imagine it helps. That way we can just kill his barbaric barbarian guy next turn. Didn't put out Professor Headwood. Thought about it. Didn't get that part yet. Alright, Professor Headwood's coming out next turn. Professor Headwood does two explosive damage to two random enemies. Explosive damage deals with the three by three squares around each enemy. Don't win them all. 